Can you tell? It's Vlogmas. Can you? What gave it away? <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel, you'll usually find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving. But of course, this is the first day of Vlogmas, so the videos in the upcoming days and weeks will be a little bit different. I'm sure if you are watching here on YouTube, you'll know what Vlogmas is all about. But just in case you don't, it's just a little thing that happens on YouTube. And creators such as myself who post videos here try to put up a little vlog every day throughout December or at least the lead up till the 25th. So I was on the fence about whether I was going to attempt to do this right up until, well, this morning really. <laughs> and then I decided, why not, let's just jump in. I think there'll be a ton of Vlogmases up this year. So if you don't manage to keep up, then don't worry, it's not normal content, it's just a little bit of fun. And yeah, if you feel a bit Vlogmased out because lots of people doing it, then I completely understand if you are not able to watch all of these videos. I'm going to do a mix of videos like today where I'm just sat chatting with you and some proper sort of follow me through my day vlogs. I haven't really made a plan, we're just going to see what happens, play it by ear, day by day. My aim is going to be to keep the videos below 15 minutes and much shorter if I can, although I think videos like today's where I sit and chat about something might end up stretching that limit a little bit. The reason I don't often do Vlogmas is that I try to participate in Vlogtober, which is Vlog Every Day in October, but this year just wasn't conducive to me being able to do that. And also because I start my vlogging for my 12 cast-ons around about Christmas Eve, it's quite a lot to vlog all the way through December up until Christmas Eve and then continue for the next 12 days. So if I do happen to run out of energy, <laughs> Um, then I'm not going to beat myself up too much about it. We'll just aim to start strong and see how far we get. So today's day one and I've put on the festive antlers and I made a little bit of an effort to put up some fairy lights. They look a bit nicer um, as we go down the wall but I can't fit myself and the rest of the lights in. And the reason they're trailing down the wall is because this is my corner of advent. So today I thought I'd share the advents that I have ended up with this year. I've ended up with quite a few. Um, some that I have acquired through swapping. I've got a couple that were amazing gifts and I also purchased one advent. I'm not going to be sharing all of these advents on a daily basis for various reasons but I'll talk through those as I explore the different advent calendars that I've got. But yeah, let me just show you my cosy advent corner before we go any further. So possibly not the best angle but this is my little cosy advent corner. We're up here in my craft attic and this is my vision. It hasn't panned out today because I have been busy but you might find out more about that in tomorrow's vlogmas. But my idea is that every morning I shall grab myself my morning cup of tea and come up to this cosy chair in my cosy advent corner and open up my advents. So I've festified it a little bit with this string of lights, which isn't uh, showing up the best uh, as we're midday now, but hey, I tried. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna show you my advents and I'm gonna open up a couple of them or the ones that I'm happy to share with you. So I'm gonna share the two advents that I was so kindly gifted by my lovely friend, Charlie. And you might know Charlie, she is the yarn ambassador here on YouTube, although she hasn't posted for a little while. But she is also the brains behind Charlie Button Yarns, and I sell Charlie Button Yarns in the Yarn and Yarns shop. And she also has a second side to her creative business, which is Cranky Lady, where she makes up sock tubes. And Charlie is part of another advent that I'll talk about a little bit later. So she sent me a package which included the sort of swap advent that we do. And then she'd also gifted me this advent, which is the Days of Christmas tea advent, which I'm really excited to have. I had one of these a couple of years ago and I just really enjoyed having a different cup of tea every day. 
and Charlie said she accidentally ended up ordering this I think she thought she was getting something else and she ordered this but she sent it my way because she thought that I would enjoy it more than she would um, which is just so so kind so so thoughtful um, so this is one that I'm definitely going to be sharing with you every day and we're gonna open up this box right now so inside the box let's pop that to one side you get this hanging card full of tea one cup of tea for every day for every day of advent and my thought is i will be bringing this up as my sort of mid-afternoon cup of tea every day so um, let's find number one number one is right in the middle of the calendar here and this is the feel new tea so i shall be bringing this up um in a little while actually because as i say i'm starting my day a little bit late today um, so this is the Feel New Organic, a clean fusion of aniseed, fennel and cardamom. And I can smell that already. And you might be able to hear in my voice, I'm a little bit nasally. Went away for a lovely weekend with my family this past weekend. And I've come back and I've got a really croaky throat. I feel absolutely fine in myself. I don't have any sniffles really. But my throat is killing me. I think it's too much talking, laughing, crying. All of the things that happen when you get together with, the f with your family and you're in... A group and all together for the first time in six years <laughs> um so yeah i think a bit of aniseed and a little bit of fennel will help to so that's advent number one and i'll be sharing my cup of teas with you every day i think and then because charlie is just a super amazing human she also sent me a whole advent calendar as a gift so this year in the yarn and yarn shop we had for the first time charlie had naturally dyed some of her yarns which are british yarns which she has spun up from fleeces that she's collected from farms local to where she lives in Lancashire and this is Angie's special runt of the litter advent so basically while she was dying she had uh, sort of small bits of yarn left over and they have come out of the pot and she made them up into a calendar just for me so I believe these are going to be sort of anywhere between two and five grams there's no um, sort of consistency to the amount of yarn that I will get just a quick visit from editing Ange I've decided not to show my Charlie button advent after all just because I saw someone else post about their advent package on Instagram and the yarn in theirs was different to the yarn in mine so I don't want to share and risk if mine's in a slightly different order to the ones that Charlie has sent out. I don't want to risk that some of my earlier ones might spoil the later ones in the advent for the folks that purchased them. So I think I will do the same as with the other advents that I'm not sharing and record a little bit of daily footage of me unwrapping those and share that at a later date. And then I have two advents that have come my way via swapping. Um, I've got one that I have swapped with a group of friends and it's the same group of friends if you watched my Vlogmas-ish last year videos. Um, it's the same group of friends we've swapped again and Charlie's part of that group too. So I have 24 packages. Ooh, I have decanted them. Ooh, so they're all falling out everywhere into a basket and there's seven of us in the swap all together so I have four packages from each of my six um, friends and that's one that I'm not really going to be able to share with you on the daily basis because in those packages we have 10-ish um, gram minis and also some extra little treats but this year because some of the treats that we've put in are the same for every person we've decided to have it a little bit more organized so we're opening packages from certain people on certain days so the majority of us will be opening the same thing however of course there will be days where everyone so like today is the first and everyone else is going to be opening a package from me today but of course I haven't sent any to myself so I get to pick a wild card so every person has also thrown in a wild card. But I don't want to share that because that might be a spoiler for my friends group later on in the month when they pick their wild card. So I've decided it's best to not share that on a daily basis. However I do have plans for the yarn in that advent and it may become a project that I cast on for the 12 cast ons but what I might do is do a little clip of me opening the advents every day and then add that as a sort of montage to the 12 cast ons video if I do end up casting on 
a project from that yarn. And the second swap I've done was a one-on-one -on -one swap with my lovely local friend Lisa. Um, so I have a bag full of amazing packages from Lisa. And I think I will share my opening of this one on a daily basis because this is just a one-to-one -one swap so I'm not spoiling things for anyone else. And in Lisa's advent there's a mix. I shall have 12 mini skeins of yarn of around about 10 grams each. And my plan for the yarn will be to add to my crochet granny stripe blanket which I'm hoping to finish this winter. I've worked on that for the last couple of advents so I'm hoping to wrap this one up this year. So yeah I think we can open this so let's do it. Package number one Oops. <laughs> and I also have a card here which says to be opened on the 1st of December. So I hope Lisa doesn't mind me sharing this but um, she's put a little note in here saying she really enjoyed putting the advent calendar together is a mixed bag each day you'll receive roughly 20 grams of fleece fiber or yarn plus a treat i have also selected some poetry and prose excerpts for you on the themes of perseverance in the face of struggle hope and joy that's lovely isn't it so let's dive in to day one <coughs> so exciting oh oh yummy so i have some three ginger tea i love ginger so I shall look forward to consuming that. I have some Haribo Tang Fastics, yummy, like a sour sweet. I have this gorgeous blue yarn. I am not sure what the yarn is, but it's gorgeous. And the verse, oh, I love this so much, I love it. The Piece of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. I'm not very good at reading poetry, but I shall share it with you. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests, in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things, who do not tax their lives with, with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day blind stars, waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and I'm free. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Thank you so much, lovely Lisa. The final advent is one that I purchased and I've decanted all of the goodies into this huge basket. Um, this is a fibre advent that was dyed and made by my lovely friend Caroline of Colourful Creativity. She had a super limited number of these available. I just had to jump on board and get them. And she packaged it up so nicely. Um, all of the days of fibre and goodies are in these reusable um, canvas bags, drawstring bags. And then as well as the bags of fibre, I also have a few other goodies to unwrap at various points throughout the advent. Now, these are not numbered these bags they're just uh, open at random so I think the chances of anyone else who purchased this advent watching this video is quite slim because these were super limited but I don't want to take the chance that I'm going to be spoiling this for anyone else so I won't be sharing this one either um, at least through vlogmas on a daily basis I will again do probably what I said I would do my, with my friend swap advent and I'll record myself opening the packages every day and then I might put together a vlog just sharing what's in this advent to be uploaded sometime in January. So I've pulled out my granny stripe blanket 
and I didn't realise I've actually got a magic knot ball attached to it. So what I'm going to do, um, before I add in this glorious blue from Lisa, I'm going to work to the end of this current colourway um, so that I use up all of this yarn. Um, there's not too much, you can see it sort of lying on the top here. Um, so I, it's not even going to be a rose worth. Um, and then when I get to the join to the next colour in the Magic Knot Ball, I'll break off the Magic Knot Ball and we'll start working on the advent colours instead. So I've got to my colour change and I'll come back at some point later and just trim those ends off. So I can now work in my first advent 2021 mm. mini. Mm. 